So the next on um, Google Webmaster Tools or Google Search Console is that I will teach you. I'll teach you how to check search analytics. Um, this section contains um, insight related to your website. Um, you can know the search query people are using to find your website. So how do you do this? How do you check the site analytics? The search analytics. How do you check the search analytics to find out the queries, the, the keywords that um, potential customers or customers or website visitors are typing on search Google search to get your website. Click on performance. Once you click on performance, you have to uh, scroll down to the bottom. You have to scroll down to the bottom. So this is where you see the search queries. This is what is bringing people to your website. So this is the search analytics. Here you see the clicks. Here you see the impressions. These are how many times your content appeared for these keywords. These are how many times your content appeared on search engine for these keywords. If you want us to give it a try, let's copy the keyword. Let's go to Google search, place the keyword in search with it. Let's check. We can't find it on the first page. Uh, let's check the second page. It should be in the second page for the keyword. Uh, this is the video, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the blog post because that is the blog. So as you can, this is it. So let's check if it's actually this page that is there. This is if, if this is actually the page you were clicking on. You know, the keyword is how to check if someone, but this is how to share. I just want to be sure if it's actually the page. So how do you do this? You click on pages. Uh, so let's open. How to know. I guess the page is still at the bottom. This is one of the page. Let's just, uh -huh, this should be it. And this is not it. How to check, how to share. So it's still at the bottom. So it's basically, still, uh, the, the page is still at the bottom. So um, basically, like these are some of the pages. So this is what, where they are going to when they search for these, uh, they search for the keywords. So as you can see, these are the pages. The second one is this, how to share. So let's check the second one. So why do you need these data? Uh, basically, you need these data to know, uh, number one, to know, like, if you don't have the keywords in your content, you know how to integrate them in the, in the blog post. You use them as a tag, and you use them as a secondary keywords. As a secondary keywords and as a tag to your blog post. Apart from that, you can create content around those search queries. Let's say um, I end up getting searches for something like this. Let, let me check them. There might be some I must not, I might not have written something on. Uh, uh, I've written on all this one. So basically, you might not have written something on some of these uh, keywords. I'm still doing the search. Uh, so each one this is page two as you can see this page two I look at it so how to unshare how to unshare so basically so 
you can write um you can write a post on these keywords if you have not written anything on them because people are coming to your blog because of these keywords write posts on them uh, publish them and uh, it will help your blog to rank better so thank you all let's move on to the next